Hi, sixth grade. Today we are talking about levels of organization. Uh, you are going to be taking your notes on this graphic organizer, so if you haven't gotten that, make sure you go and pick that up right now. Uh, the first few notes that we take are actually going to be made on the back of that paper. So let's flip that over. And when we're talking about levels of organization, what those actually are, on unicellular organisms, the single cell performs all of life functions. So we're not going to see any levels to it. But with multicellular organisms, we have a lot of cells and a lot of specialized different cells, each doing different functions. So to kind of organize that, we have levels of organization. And those cells are working together for the good of the organism. So when we look at that graphic organizer, you can kind of see we're going to start at the smallest and work our way up to the largest level. So we have the atomic level, the molecular level, cellular, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. And we're going to work our way through and kind of talk about what each one of those levels mean. So uh, get this section down in your notes, and then once you're ready, come on back. And we're going to start talking about the first level, which is our atomic level. And so our atomic level is made up of atoms. It's the smallest unit of matter. So we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, a whole bunch of different types of atoms. So in your graphic organizer then, so I'm going to move all over the page again. You would type your explanation there and then give the examples. So I'm not going to go back and forth between each one, but you kind of start to get the, the gist of how this works. Okay, molecular level, we're going to move through these basic levels pretty fast because we've been covering them for quite a bit of time now. The molecular level, we know now we're taking those atoms, we're bonding them together, and uh, they're making a molecule. And so some of the really important molecules that we deal with are water, uh, DNA, and carbohydrates. We've talked a lot about those. So our DNA here in life science, we can see DNA is made out of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus. And you can kind of see how those are put together. So I thought that was kind of a neat picture to show you guys. So go ahead and add that level to your graphic organizer. And then our next level is the cellular level. So now those molecules and atoms and everything are working together, and those were non-living, and now we're getting to our living parts of things. So at the cellular level, we know that cells are the smallest unit of life. And so some examples of cells that we can have would be the neuron or the skin cell. I'm going to focus uh, on neurons. I love studying the brain and our nervous system. So uh, you'll see kind of that's my running theme that I have through this entire presentation. And then your next level here is your tissue level. So now we take a group of similar cells. So if I take um, my neuron cells and a few other cells that do similar functions, we group them together and they're going to perform one specific job or one specific function. So some examples of uh, tissues, we have four main tissue types, nervous, muscle, epithelial, and connective. And your next step on the to-do list is to actually do uh, complete a tissue uh, lab. So you'll learn about those individual four types of tissues there. Uh, when we look here though, I chose the nervous tissue. So you can see that we have that nerve cell, but then we also have the microglial cells, the ol the oligodons, I'm not even going to try to say it because I can't say it. So we have that other type of cell down here and then the astrocytes over here. So we have a whole bunch of different types of cells that are all working together. And that's what, um, but they're all doing kind of similar jobs in a way. So this tissue is what it would look like underneath the microscope. And you can see some of uh, like here, the neurons here, and then you have the different types of cells all around the neurons. So the tissue is really a group of cells that are similar in a way, and they're all working together in order to perform a specific function. Our next level is going to be the organ. So now we take those tissues and we put many tissues working together and that's going to make your organ. So your brain, your skin, your heart, those are all of our organs. And I focus on the brain because uh, the nervous tissue, when we put different types of nervous tissue together, then that's going to make up our uh, brain. And we might have nervous tissue in there. We might have some muscle tissue. Uh, we might have some epithelial tissue. We're mixing those four types of tissues together in order to make an organ. But they're all working together in order for that organ to do its job. And then our 
next one here. Now we're going to take those organs and put together the different organs and they're all going to work together. So if we focus on the nervous system, we see that we have the the brain is an organ and the spinal cord is an, an organ and then our nerves and all of those different organs put together are going to make up our organ system which would be the nervous system. The human body, we're composed up of 11 different uh, organ systems. And later on in the to-do list, you guys are going to get a chance to really look at those organ systems in depth and choose one that you want to become an expert on. So this is really just kind of an overview of how all of our parts of our body kind of work together. And then finally, all of those organ systems working together make an organism. And so uh, just exactly like what I just said, organ systems working together to make a multicellular organism. And I want to emphasize that multicellular. We are, uh, multicellular organisms are the only organisms that have that level of organization. Our unicellular, they do it all just within them. They're not going to have tissues or organ systems or anything like that. So our organisms would be humans, plants, and animals. Uh, so hopefully this was a really good kind of just overview of how everything kind of builds on one another. And then what we're going to do in this to-do list is kind of break it down then and look at each individual uh, thing together. So just to kind of refresh your memory, we're working from the smallest atoms put together make molecules. Molecules all put together make up a cell. If we put similar cells together, they're gonna to make up a tissue. And we have four different types of tissues. Those tissues can work together to make an organ. And then we have many different organs. And when two or more organs work together, it's gonna to make an organ system. And then when all 11 of the, in human at least, and when all 11 are of our organ systems work together, we get an organism. So. That uh, is the overview of the levels of organization. Please see me if you have any questions.